to Jed's equine vlog. Woo! I would say equine, but that's because I'm English. <laughs> okay. Anyway, so we're going to do a vlog today introducing all the horses. If you're watching and you haven't yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. And turn the notification bell. So here we have Phoebe's standard bred Benji. And he's just looking good for us at the beginning, but we'll introduce him a bit later. And apologies in advance because we have just had some rain which is amazing well it was a couple of days ago but the horses are very dirty so uh yeah you're probably not going to see them at their best but we'll go with that these will live <laughs> who have you got there Woo! so here we have mid lake oh <laughs> so midi has just turned five he is a thoroughbred I've had him for just over a year, I think. Um, he's had, he had a big spell and he's had a very slow retraining process um, on and off, and bits of rest. And so plan is for him to start eventing early next season. So um, I'll try and put in a bit of footage. He's been a little bit cross country. He's had jump lessons. <laughs> but he's not done any competitions he is booked in for a dressage comp next weekend are we gonna do that midi how do you what do you reckon i really like midi and i want to keep him he was here to be retrained to sell um but i think he's he's jet's protege i knew he's a big boy he's a bit bigger than jet he's about 16 two three i don't know he's very cute though and very cuddly and this is very close up, so you can't really see it. Like, oh, he says, I don't know. Do, 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 do. A little bit of footage. Oh, of what? We nearly got kicked. Oh my god. Awesome. Oh, Foxy, Foxy, you're not in the video. It's just me currently driving like a widow with a really bad tan. Like, that's, yeah, it's beautiful. Look at this tan here. Foxy's turning five. She's a warm blood out of a thoroughbred mare who I bought from a friend of mine down in New South Wales. And I've also got her half sister who is a full warm blood. So Foxy's sort of similar to Mitty. She's done bits and pieces of work this year. She's a super little jumper and she moves really well. But I think we sort of moved things a little bit quickly and she needed a bit more strength behind. <laughs> It could be spastic, it's looking a bit wonky. Woo! And she didn't get jumped off! Woo! So this is Woody and um, we're doing this a bit backwards. So we just had our ride, but we're going to introduce him now. So Woody is an eight-year-old thoroughbred, same as Theo. Woody's racing name was Starwood. And he had 45 starts and he did actually win a few. Holy. I got directly from the trainer um, and he was just not really performing anymore. He liked soft ground and with the drought conditions, obviously there was never any soft ground. So when Woody came to me, he had really, really bad front feet. Um, he was pretty lame in front, actually. Um, I pulled off his racing plates. He had abscesses in both heels. Um, and 
Then we progressed for about three months battling with abscesses and lameness. So I did at one stage actually contemplate, was I ever gonna get this horse sound? Um, but he is literally the sweetest thing. So we worked with my farrier, Anthony Murray, um, trying to get more balance. He wasn't, we got to a stage where he wasn't actually lame in the paddock, but he had what's known as increased digital pulses. So as a vet, um, or, you know, really good horse people, they know how to check for pulses in the horse's fetlocks. And that gives you an indication of pain or inflammation in the feet. So, um, yeah, I basically check him every morning, every evening when I fed him, praying there'd be no pulses. And he was on and off viewed. He had more abscesses. He had a really big blowout one day when I was away eventing. Um, or no, it didn't blow out, but he got an abscess and I came home um, late and went and dug out his foot and we had a really big blowout. And that was actually really exciting. Um, I thought, this is it, but it wasn't it. And he was still lame, still had sore feet. He's been sound for about three, three months-ish, maybe. Um, and his feet are good. So fingers crossed, they stay this way. <laughs> left because we've got to show our good sides oh you've got two good sides yeah she's very lucky i only have one good side that side. nah, side's bad so we're shopping at the moment as you can see look Ooh. and we've got 40 dollars for a week of meals yeah so what are we gonna get phoebe phoebe's doing her hair so she looks better yeah. phoebe give up you're never gonna look good i have to try Phoebe got checked out earlier by a fella, but she was checking him out. Look how Phoebe's dressed. <laughs> but I have got on fox socks. So I'm wedding in the sexy department. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're gonna go on our shopping adventure. I'll let Phoebe get a boy for you. Oh, oh, he's posing. Oh yeah, he likes it. Did, did you see him twerk? <laughs> Introducing Pan Snora. Oh! She actually was saying hi then. Um, so actually her name is Pandora. So she is related to Foxy. So they've got the same daddy bear and a different mama bear. So Pandora is three, just turned, and she is full warm blood. And she's a little bit fat and pony-ish, but she's super cute. And she's in the process of being broken in. Um, so if you guys have seen on, I did a video where she had a baby incisor taken out. So one that was stuck in. So she's had about two weeks off while she's sort of recuperated from that. Um, so we've basically been doing, she's, she's had the saddle on, she's been long reign. Um, so now she's sort of progressing the long reigning so that we can do walk, talk, canter on a on a circle easily, and then it'll be soon time for me to hop on. And so far, she seemed to have like a really, really good attitude. Um, she's pretty quiet. Few times she doesn't really like the girth being done up because, well, of course she's a girl, and you know who likes their belly being sucked in. I know I don't. So look, that's that's Miss Pandora with her little fatty belly. Pandora. She is so beautiful and I've got quite a bit of footage of work I've done with her. So the plan is to do kind of a bit of a video of her progression and that kind of thing. So I'm going to take her up and, um, and long rein her, try and get back on track with her breaking in so she can go out for a big spell um, with some other chestnut mares at my boyfriend's place. <music> So we still have a few more horses to introduce, including Storm, my colt. Um, so tune in next time to meet the rest of them. Hope you've enjoyed it.